What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on the uh, deal that went on between the Detroit Red Wings and Arizona Coyotes involving a uh, first round pick and a player by the name of Pavel Datsuk. Uh, obviously, Datsuk got, swept, got swapped to uh, Phoenix or Arizona, excuse me. Um, and, you know, the Coyotes took on his contract, were able to move up a few spots in the draft, uh, dump. Joe Vitale's contract, uh, which they would have actually had to pay 1.1 million, whereas opposed to um, Detroit, they the Datsu cap it is just that it's a 7.5 million dollar cap it. There's no, you know, real money involved. It's just one of those situations. You take it, you know, you, uh, you know, you, if you're Arizona, you, they took Jacob Chicker, and that's who they wanted. They were able to walk out of the draft with uh, Chicker and and. Uh, Clayton Keller, so definitely a good move, and, and uh, you know, Kenny Holland deserves a ton of credit for this, you know, they were talking about, you know, having a package, possibly uh, Shvetnikov or, or a player like that to move this pick, and, you know, all they had to do was move back four spots, they took Shalowski, they really like Shalowski, so, again, just a win-win situation, you know, and I don't know how close Arizona was to taking Chikrin at seven anyway, but, you know, that's it is what it is. And uh, I just think it'd be funny if he came out of retirement and suited up for the Coyotes next year. But, you know, it's not probably going to happen. Um, but right now, with $7.5 million just magically freed up, I would say the Detroit Red Wings are the front runners to land the uh, prize free agent on this market, Steven Stamkos. I think they will go all in on Stammer. And I think they have a good chance to get them. You know, if I had to, to put my finger on one front runner, it's them right now. Uh, you know, it, why wouldn't you want to play for the Red Wings? You know, they're one of the best organizations in hockey. Um, and, you know, they've got some great young talent. They've, they're always going to be in the middle of things. That ownership group is phenomenal, and uh, they're going to be right there every every year. So we'll see what happens with that. I just think it would be funny, you know, having having uh, Steve Eisman in Tampa and Steve Stamkos in Detroit. But funny how that just way works itself out. Uh, but again, I, I think right now the, the Red Wings are the front runners for uh, for the services of uh, Mr. Stamkos. And again, I I don't know what else there is to say for for God Ken Holland. Just a brilliant, brilliant move. And again, Arizona got what they wanted to. They wanted Chicker, and they got him and Clayton Keller. Win-win situation all around. And they got out of some real money they had to pay, which given the fact that they're a penny-pinching team, uh, you know, you, you're going to take advantage of. But anyway... That's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.